Thank you. County officials say taxpayers could put the bill if state officials remove their inmates from local jails. As 16 WABG Scott Simmons reports, it could cost them millions of dollars. Taxpayers are going to be left holding the back. Following a meeting with MDOC Commissioner Marshall Fisher Tuesday, county supervisors and sheriffs appeared fuming Mad Wednesday because of the plan to yank state inmate labor out of their counties. MDOT Commissioner Dick Hall says the state could have to hire people to pick up trash on the roads. It means basically destroying the litter pickup program that we now have. 41 inmates were moved earlier than planned from Hines County after a scathing report about security from the U.S. Justice Department. It's going to be devastating for Hines County. The state has been paying counties $20 a day to house each inmate. Holmes County and others claim taxpayers will have to pay up. Well, no one, it's going to mean a tax uh, raise in Holmes County uh, on the taxpayer. We built a building over $500,000 building. Uh, because we was asked and told to do this by the Department of Correction. MDOC says it has several reasons for wanting to end the work inmate program. One deals with security, the other budgetary, specifically MDOC's budget. Still, the commissioner has offered two other alternatives. The first would let counties keep their state inmates. The other, that counties can request mobile work crews to pick up trash and do other work. Both options, though, would come without the state paying counties more money. The net loss here is to the taxpayers of Mississippi, $20 million. MDOC says it's underfunded and forced to cut costs, and it's a battle over money with no clear answer how inmate labor plays in that fight. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. MDOC says it's discussing alternatives with counties, but as of right now, still plans to begin phasing out on August 1st.